Hey you guys, so I don't know what kind of makeup I'm going to do yet today. I'm just going to start doing my makeup and hopefully it turns out cool. So let's just uh, jump right into this. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my primer here. I'm just using Benefits Professional. Okay, so I was working this event last night and like, okay, first let me preface this by saying that those Revlon matte lip balms, I've literally been looking everywhere for this one color because I don't know, like if you know anything about me, you know that I love like corals, oranges, like any kind of like corally orange type gig like makeup, like lipstick, I'm all about that life. So basically I was trying to find this one like Revlon matte lip balm and it's called Audacious and every time I went into a freaking drugstore it was always open and used and I was like what is this about? Me and this color are meant to be and it's going to happen somehow, some way, whatever. Just going in with my foundation, I'm using Benefit's Hello Flawless Foundation. I didn't like this when I first used it, but the more I try it, the more I really like it, so I'm gonna use it right now. Anyways, I've been looking for this color everywhere, and then last night I'm working this event, and I see that there's a, like a Revlon booth, and I'm like, yo, I gotta freaking like bust a move on over there to see if I can like get the hookup with this one color that I want so badly. So. Um, the, one of the girls that I was working with at the NYX booth was like, I'm gonna go talk to her, I'll go talk to her. And then she was like, okay, like, here's her card, whatever. And so I went over there and I'm talking to her, I'm like, yo, I'm Samantha, whatever, doing the whole shebang. And she's like, oh, you were looking for that one lip balm. And like, I have it in my bag, I'm pretty sure, like, unopened and unused. And so, long story short, she did have this one color in her bag. And I was like, nice. And so I got the color that I've been wanting forever. I'm so happy about it. You guys have no idea. Okay, Jesus take the wheel when I'm doing this foundation because I feel like my freaking brush sucks up so much of it. It's so bizarre. Like, I feel like this foundation is almost better to go in just with your fingers. And I would totally do that if my freaking... I don't know. I just feel like my hands feel so gross after and I don't like it. And even if I wash them, it's just not the same. It's not the same. Okay, so I'm just taking Habit from my... What palette is this? From my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette into my crease. I hate when I do that upward inflection crease. Ugh. I'm like, I get really depressed watching my own videos because all these other people on YouTube have like the sickest accents ever and my accent is so boring in comparison. British people and Australian people especially, they, okay, they could say anything and it would still sound so posh. Like, so I was at a party and I was literally taking a dump on the floor. It's like, that still sounds pretty nice. That still sounds all right. Okay, so I'm just taking Fringe from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and we're just going to apply that on the inner and outer corner. And just kind of blend it into the crease on our way there. You know, just skip over like a little bridge. Still not entirely sure where this is going. Okay, and we're just gonna blend that out a little bit here. Not a little bit, probably a lot. Okay, so I'm just taking this color from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette called Prank, and I'm going to go in the inner and outer corner with it again. And I'm not gonna take it over the crease just yet. Or am I? I don't know. And you wanna apply this part with a little bit of a smaller brush. If you use something too big, it'll kinda just get the product everywhere and then it'll be really messy and it'll be a nightmare and it'll be like super dark on the inner corner and it'll just be just bad all around, I tell ya. And just taking a bigger brush and blending that out a, a little bit. I'm not sure if I want to put more blue in the center, if I want to do like something else. Oh, you know what would be so sick? Okay, no one's gonna like this, but I don't care. It's gonna be so sick. So I'm just taking a little bit of my NYX jumbo pencil in milk right to the center of the eye. And then I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit with a concealer brush. Oh my god, this is gonna be bossy as fuck. Okay. And then I'm taking a little bit of Max Neo Orange Pigment on a flat brush and just 
pressing that onto the center of the lid. I'm pumped right now. Y'all don't even understand. I'm finna cry right now, guys. This is so wonderful. Okay, and then once you have the desired amount of pigment on, you can kind of start blending those colors into each other with your flat brush. I'm just taking the color Mermaid from Makeup Geek and just kind of blending those colors in. I'm just going in and darkening that crease up a little bit more. Or not really the crease, but the outer corners, outer and inner corners. Wow, I'm just like not the best at talking, it's okay. How am I gonna blend these colors together? I don't really know yet. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that same dark color prank under the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this aqua e color um, mermaid from Makeup Geek to kind of blend that out and make it all pretty and smoky and cray cray. This is like the weirdest look ever. I really like it though. I'm feeling this. Okay, I'm just throwing some lashes on this bitch. And these are Big Lash Theory from Evermore Lashes which are one of my favorite lash brands in the world. That's sick. Oh, I'm so pumped on this look, you guys. You have no idea. Oh my god. I need to text a picture of the girls. Hold on. Scent. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Bombs No Money No Honey to the inner corner here. And then I'm going to finish off with mascara. Okay, I know you guys were doubting this look, but peep this. Okay, so that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of fun, crazy look. I didn't really know where I was going in the beginning of the video, and it ended up like this, and I'm digging it, so I hope you're digging it. Also, I'm thinking about starting a vlog channel. So, one, do you want to see a vlog channel? And two, if so, what would you call it? So the competition to name my vlogging channel starts now. Okay guys, peace out and I will see you all later. Goodbye. Ooh, not really comfortable not having my hair in a fun bun. Ah oh, yes, fun bun strong. <laughs>